Hello AI enthusiasts. Today, I'll tell you about a revolution in the technology world. OpenAI's new operator, an AI system that can literally be your internet browser. Sounds incredible? Good morning. We've got something exciting for you today. We're going to launch our first agent. AI agents are AI systems that can do work for you independently. You give them a task, and they go off and do it. Uh, we think this is going to be a big trend in AI and really impact the work people can do, how productive they can be, how creative they can be, what they can accomplish. We're starting today with Operator. Operator is a system that can use a web browser, uh, in this case a web browser in the cloud, to accomplish tasks that you give it. Just like you would use a web browser, you can get pixels in, you can look at a screen, and control. an operator can do that, and then control the keyboard and the mouse and do all sorts of things. This is going to go live today in the United States for pro users. And it'll be other countries soon. Europe will unfortunately take a while. Uh, and we'll also in the coming months make it available to plus users. Let's look at what makes this innovation so special. Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, explains the operator like this. AI agents are systems that work independently for you. You give them a task and they execute it. This sounds simple, but the implications are enormous. Imagine never having to click through countless websites, compare prices, or fill out forms by yourself again. The technical breakthrough is based on a completely new AI model called Computer Using Agent, or CUA for short. Shanno, the research lead of the operator team, explains the special feature. The operator sees exactly the same screen as a human and uses the identical interface. This fundamentally differentiates it from other agents that rely on programmed interfaces. Let's take a concrete example. You want to book a table at your favorite restaurant. Normally, you'd open OpenTable, search for available times, enter your data. You know the drill. The operator does all this automatically. So this is the operator homepage. It's at, it lives at operator.chatgpt.com. It'll be accessible as soon as the live stream is over. Um, and as you can see, the interface is very similar to ChatGPT. You can type in a prompt, and an operator will try to execute the task to the best of its capability. You'll also see we have a list of pre-filled prompts here. These are not really meant to be recommendations. These are meant to be things that, you know, to give you an idea of what operator can do. We have also collaborated with various brands like OpenTable, All Recipes, StubHub, Uber, Thumbtack, DoorDash, eBay, Target, to make sure operator really works well on these websites. But also, we think users will find operator value, very valuable in interacting with these platforms. How about we try something a little bit more complicated? I like grocery. Yeah, I love groceries. So I've been using Operator to shop all my groceries. I love to cook quite a bit. And I have been using Operator exclusively for groceries. So let's, I have a shopping list here, which is this one. Let's see what it is. Eggs, spinach, mushroom, chicken thighs, chili crunch. So this uh, is a picture that you're uploading here. That's exactly right. And I'm going to use Instacart, which is, again, what we use generally. Uh, okay, so in this case, again, operator quickly actually recognized using GPT 4.0's vision capabilities to understand that the image said egg, spinach, mushroom, chicken thighs, and it actually knew Gus's market. And cool. Again, just like OpenTable, it instantiated a browser and it's going to go ahead and start doing tests. I'm going to expand the view. So in both of these cases, you've said what you wanted to use. If you just say, buy me these groceries and don't specify Instacart, what happens? It will do a search, use a search engine, much like we do. And it'll find you know, Instacart or Gus's directly website or whatever else is on the search engine. Go through that, ask you questions if it needs clarifications, and go from there. It opens the website, checks availability, and only communicates with you when it needs a decision. Sorry, 7 PM is booked. How about 7.45? That's how simple AI assistance can be. But this is just the beginning. The real game changer is multitasking. While the operator is making your restaurant reservation, it can simultaneously search for concert tickets compile a grocery shopping list, and look for a cleaning service for your apartment. Everything in parallel, everything automatic, everything under your control. The developers have worked closely with various partners, OpenTable, StubHub, Uber, DoorDash, and many more. But here's the interesting part. The operator isn't limited to these partners. It can use practically any website because it sees and operates it exactly like a human. This is a fundamental difference from previous automation solutions. Security is the top priority. The system has several security levels. On one hand, there's the prompt injection monitor, basically an antivirus system that detects and blocks suspicious activities. On the other hand, the operator always asks for your confirmation for important actions. You always have control and can intervene. A particularly fascinating aspect is the chain of thought. The operator's thought sequence. You can follow in real time how it plans and decides. When it orders groceries, for example, you see every step, searching for organic eggs, comparing prices, adding the cheapest option to cart, 
This transparency creates trust and makes the system understandable. The developers have also implemented a clever approach to data protection. When you need to enter sensitive data, like payment information or passwords, you can take control. In this private mode, the operator can't see what you're doing. It's like asking a human assistant to turn their back for a moment. In developing the operator, OpenAI has particularly focused on ease of use. Operation is as simple as a conversation. You can tell the operator what you want in natural language. Find me tennis lessons nearby or order me a pizza for tonight. The operator understands the context and executes the tasks. The system's performance is already impressive, although the developers transparently communicate that it's still an early version. In standardized tests, the operator achieved a 38.1% success rate in operating system navigation, significantly better than other AI systems, but still below the human level of 72.4%. In web usage, the rate is 58.1%. What does this mean for the future of our internet usage? Sam Altman sees the operator as the first step into a new era. This is the beginning of level three on our path to advanced AI systems. The vision is clear. AI assistants that not only advise, but can actively take on tasks. Currently, the operator is only available to pro users in the United States, who invest $200 monthly. But the team is already working on expansion. An API version is in development and should be available in a few weeks. The technology will develop, become cheaper and more accessible. The integration of the operator into our daily lives could be revolutionary. Imagine you're planning a vacation. Instead of spending hours comparing flights, searching for hotels and researching activities, you simply give the operator your preferences, budget, travel period, interests, it browses the internet, finds the best deals, compares reviews, and presents you with a customized selection. Or think about the professional context. The operator could conduct research, gather data, coordinate appointments, and handle routine tasks. This creates space for creative and strategic work. The activities that really require human intelligence. The technical possibilities are far from exhausted. The team is already working on extensions. Shun no hints. In the future, the operator could control not just websites, but also desktop applications. The vision is moving toward a universal digital assistant. An important aspect is also the system's learning ability. The more the operator is used, the better it understands typical user habits and preferences. It learns how people make decisions and can adapt its suggestions accordingly. Of course, always with strict adherence to privacy. The operator's security architecture is multi-layered. Besides the mentioned prompt injection monitor, there are strict controls for websites and actions. The operator refuses harmful or illegal tasks and has built-in ethical principles. Security was a top priority from the start, emphasizes the development team. What does this mean for the future of work? The operator could be the beginning of a new type of human-AI collaboration. Instead of seeing AI as a replacement for human work, it shows how technology can support us and make us more efficient. It's not about replacing people, but freeing them from time-consuming routine tasks. The developers at OpenAI see the operator as part of a larger vision. We're moving toward a world where AI systems develop more and more capabilities, says Sam Altman. The operator is an important step on this path, but by no means the end of development. For the future, the team is already planning further improvements. Mobile app integration is on the agenda, as well as support for other languages and regions. The user interface should also become more intuitive with more visual elements and better interactivity. The OpenAI operator is more than just another AI tool. It's a look into the future of digital interaction. It shows us how AI can not only think, but also act. A future where technology doesn't just provide information, but actively helps manage our digital daily life. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you activate the bell, you'll even be notified when we upload a new video. Hope to see you next time. Until then, stay real.